So this is our broad bean patch for this year. It's uh, early winter here and so obviously these broad beans are a winter crop. I wanted to talk about them because they're so economical to grow and they have a few different uses as well. Uh, how we grow these is we buy a packet of broad beans that you can buy by the kilogram from a European grocer or Middle Eastern food store cost about three or four dollars for a whole packet and you can get an entire crop for that price they don't really have any natural predators they grow very easily um, they take a bit of water but we have hardly watered them at all because the rainfall has been really good um, and once it comes to actually growing them they put nitrogen into the soil so they're good for the soil as well and then of course they're good for eating um, if you don't like to actually eat them yourself they make a really good green crop for chickens um, but we do like to eat them ourselves so one of the ways we do that is when they have new shoots at the top we pinch the tops off and you can go around the whole crop pinching heaps of the tops off get a great big bowl full and my favorite way to cook these at the moment is to stir fry them uh, just crush some garlic um, chop up some fresh ginger some sesame oil in a wok and just stir fry them till they're wilted a um, bit of salt and pepper they're beautiful and very good for you and then of course once the beans actually come the beans are delicious too uh, as long as you don't overcook them so if you've had broad beans in the past that you thought were disgusting they were probably overcooked uh, if they go grey then they're overcooked and it's not nice to eat them like that so the key to eating broad beans is to have them cooked very very lightly um, stir fry would be another great one we've had them stir fried with a little bit of bacon which is beautiful uh, you can also just pop them fresh into salads and I recommend that you don't let them get too big or too old before you eat them uh, it's up to you whether you eat the pods or not I like to remove the pods because I don't like the taste or the texture of the pods and then of course the pods can be composted or go to the chooks now I, I think I'll just sit here in the sunshine for a while we've had so it's been so cold and rainy here it's beautiful to have the sunshine so enjoy <laughs> 